So, have you ever been to your grocery store and saw this strange, green, scaly-like looking fruit in the exotic fruit section? Well, I'm Jamie from Shamrock Girl World, and today I'm going to talk about this strange fruit called the Cherimoya. So, what is the Cherimoya? Well, cherimoya is this uh, large, green, scaly-like fruit that's actually grown in parts of South America and Central America. It can be as large in heart shape. It can have this smooth, scale-like skin or rough, round bumps as well. It's also known as a custard apple because on the inside it has a white, soft custard-like flesh and it has a taste of vanilla mixed with banana. So where can you get it? You can actually find these in Whole Foods or here in Texas. I've been able to find these in HEB in Central Market. That's actually where I got this one. Asian markets will carry these as well and they're popping up in more exotic fruit sections. As for the cost for a cherimoya, they tend to be on the expensive side. Uh, you may pay between six to eight dollars each fruit or per pound. This fruit right here actually paid seven dollars for it and it actually came out to just under a pound. Depending on where you find it, they may charge per fruit or per the pound. You should also gauge on the size of the fruit itself. They tend to be on the expensive side, but it may also depend on where you are in the country. They might be cheaper to find in areas where they are grown. They might be cheaper in coastal or port cities, such as Houston. These tend to be cheaper when I go down in Houston. It will depend on the venue where you find it. So if you do find cherimoya, how do you eat it? Well, first in selecting the cherimoya, you should either choose a fruit that is light green and firm to the touch which means that it is not ripe yet or you can get one that is a darker green or has this brownish green skin color and is soft to the touch which means that it's ripe if you do get a unripened or firmer fruit you can actually leave it in the produce bag that it came in you can stick it in the refrigerator for about two days and it will ripen on its own. I bought this fruit two days ago and it's still quite firm. It's actually changed its color a little bit. So whenever you do decide to get a cherimoya, I usually decide whether I wanna eat it now or the same day or wait two to three days to eat it later because this will also continue ripening as well. I've actually had a large one, eight, one half, wrapped it up and put it in the freezer and it continued ripening afterwards. So that's one big consideration when choosing a cherimoya is whether you want to eat it and what stage of the ripening process that it's in. So now I'm going to show you how to cut into the cherimoya. And all you do is simply cut into a cherimoya with a knife like this. You can cut it lengthwise and it should go smoothly in. And when you open it up, it will look like this on the inside. You can also remove the inner core of the fruit. As you can see, there are large black seeds on the inside and you can just pick them out with a knife. Now these seeds you should not eat because they are poisonous, so make sure not to swallow them or chew them up. Now I'll take another cross section to see the inside of the fruit. To eat the cherimoya, you can simply take a spoon and scoop it out and eat it as is. You can add this to salads and smoothies. It will also reduce really well as long as you remove the black seeds. 
And at a closer look, you can see that the flesh is really soft. It has a little bit of juice. And it also has a light vanilla scent to it. So this is a good example of a ripe cherimoya fruit. So I hope you enjoyed my video about the cherimoya. I really love getting this fruit and it's always a treat even though it breaks the bank sometimes. And I hope you're able to find one yourself and enjoy it. Leave a comment in the comment section if you've ever tried one yourself and what you think about it. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about exotic fruits, growing exotic fruits, gardening, nature crafts, and more. Thank you.